Hey, hey there, what's up? It's, uh, it's Coyote Choker. Just call, just call me. You, know, you call me whatever. I don't care. Duke Loss. I mean, having the worst day ever. I mean, doing better than yesterday. <laughs> anyway, top performers of, of, of Elite Eight, I guess. Yeah, let's get it going. Let's just start. Let's just start it off with the Michigan State Duke game. Uh, top performer of the game. This, this Goins guy. I don't know. I don't know who he is. He's like he's like a fifth year senior. He's like he's like 27 years old. I mean, you're, you're, bro, do like go do 27 year old stuff. Like take picnics or something. I don't even know. Why are you playing against Zion and RJ and Trey and Cam? These guys are like 18, 19 years old. Go go do something else, man. This guy he finished with 10 points, nine rebounds, and two assists, and he. He hit, he hit the game winning shot. He hit that three pointer that Zion was so close to blocking. He hit that. I mean, he did like nothing the same game. He just hits his shot. I just. I don't know what to do. Next one. Next up on this list is uh, uh, Jared Jer Culver, I guess. Jer yeah, Jared Culver. Apparently, they're at a basketball school now. I mean, my buddy Patrick Mahomes went there. Me and him are very close. Uh, yeah, top four man, Jared Culver. He put up 19 points, five rebounds, and two assists. As I was watching this game, I kept saying to myself, I'm like, keep this game close. Keep this game low scoring. Because the announcers kept saying, Texas Tech wants this game in the 60s, all this stuff. Because Gonzaga has the best offense in the nation. Yeah, but Texas Tech, just keep it close. The game slow. Keep the score low. But then Texas Tech just kept hitting shots. And I'm like, oh, shit, man, I might lose a part. I better tie on this. So the game must be within five points. I was getting nervous on Gonzaga's part that they were making a close game. And that's because of Jared Culver. I mean, he's the best prospect left in March Madness. I think he's ranked like eighth or ninth. That's why he's a top performer, Jared Culver. He played an amazing game. He's going to Final Four for Texas Tech. Congratulations and good luck. Alright, next up on this list in the Purdue game, Purdue and Virginia. We gotta go Carson Edwards. This guy is Antarctica. This guy is North Pole. This guy is just straight up cold. He finished the game with 42 points. This team, Purdue, finished with 75 points, so if I do the math, it's 56%. He scored 56 of their, his team's points. I mean, that's, do I even have to say anything more? 10 minutes left in the second half. This guy was just hitting legit buckets from the legit Halifax. Like, he was stepping back. Fade away, swish. All right, this game was, it was insane. I wish I could rewatch this game like it's, like it's your favorite TV show that you're watching for the first time. I wish I could watch this game again. Amazing game. Uh, they ended up losing in overtime by this crazy shot. Short. Back tap. Diakite. A race for it. Into the hands of Clark. Got a chance to win it here. Up the front. Here's Diakite for the win. And anyway, uh, Carson Edwards, you're cold blooded. You're a bad dude. Top performer of Virginia Purdue. All right, the final performer of the Elite Eight goes to Chuma Okiki in the Auburn and Kentucky game. I don't know what's cooler, having your first name Chuma or your last name Okiki. Two great names. Great job, parents. Anyway, this guy, he tore his ACL in the game against North Carolina when they won. Huge upset in that game. So he's out for the tournament. He's out for a while, actually. They're playing the Kentucky team that I had going to the finals. So that, let's just put that into perspective. They're a good team, Kentucky. And Auburn, they don't have the best player. The game's closed, second half. Guess who gets wheeled out in a wheelchair? Chuma Okiki gets parked behind Auburn bench. Boys look back. They're like, oh, boys, Chuma's here. Let's get it going. And what do they do? They keep it going. They keep the gas to the pedal. Gas to the metal, metal to the pedal. I don't know what the saying is, uh, but they, they did that exactly. You know what I'm saying. Uh, they ended up game, taking this game to overtime. They had a chance to win it at the end. Won in overtime by six. Great game, Kentucky. I don't know what happened there. I mean, you're way, you were way better skill-wise than that team. But hey, gotta get to Auburn and their coach, man. Their coach, he's hilarious. And so yeah, I mean, if Chuma never showed up behind that bench in the wheelchair, I don't think the boys would have got pumped up. So Chuma, that's why you're the top performer in Auburn, Kentucky. All right, new segment on this show. It's the bottom performer. Bottom performer, I mean, this is the guy that fucks me over. And that goes to Josh Perkins on Gonzaga. Well, as I stated earlier, my pro line on Texas Tech Gonzaga. I, I picked a tie in that game, which is within five points. Texas Tech ended up winning by six. And let me tell you how this happened. The score is 69-64 with 21 seconds left. Josh Perkins, what did he do? He hits a three. Bang. Down by two points. 20 seconds left. I'm getting my money. What does he do? He fouls the guy that's inbounding the ball. So apparently in college basketball, the rules is if you foul someone out of bounds, it's two shots and they get the ball back. So what happens? Texas Tech gets the two free throws, hits both of them, gets the ball back. Gonzaga has to foul because they need the ball back. And they hit the two free throws. They're up by six. Now Gonzaga has the ball and they're down by six and they need three pointers. And 
Texas Tech knows this, but they're clamping up on defense. So they're just throwing up these bricks. I mean, a contested deep, these contested shots that had no chance of going in. They, the game ends up, the time ends up running out. They win by six. Um, I mean, Josh Kirkin, why? Like, you didn't have to do that. I know you didn't need to, but like, why? I would have won $80 if he never touched that guy's hand. Josh Perkins, thank you very much. You owe me 80 bucks. I can send that anytime now. And yeah, you're the bottom performer. Thanks for watching this video. I mean, go to go ship straw. And I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Final Four this weekend, Saturday. Be ready. Uh, national Championships on Monday. Try to choke. Out. I had to give it a try, motherfucker. Wizards can't die. Profound surprise. What's with your eyes? You're so hypnotized. To me, I'll make you cry.